I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do something a little different tonight. Uh, most of the time, when I go into the '80s, I've been doing like the when I count down my fantasy playlist from the '80s. I do like the usually from like 1984 to 1990. I'll go to 1980 for my '70s YouTube channel, which is 1980s, close enough to the '70s. I want to outsource billboards? I've got a great funky dance record coming up. I want the queens of disco back in the late '70s. But not 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 as big as Donna Summer, but she was big on the dance talk chart. She had about four number one disco hits. Let's go first to Billboard's. Oh, wait. I think I lost her already. Wait a minute. Let me bring this thing down real quick. I'm getting too excited. All right. There we go. Uh, August 23rd, 1980. Uh, Billboard's Hot 100. And let's go through the top five real quick. Upside Down by Diana Ross. That went to number one. And uh, Emotional Rescue by the Rolling Stones at number four. Take your time. Do it right. SOS Band at number three. Sailing by Christopher Cross. What a beautiful, profound record. Went to number one at number two on August 23rd, 1980 at Magic by Olivia Newton-John. Let's go down to song number 66. Red Light by Linda Clifford off the Fame soundtrack at number 66. It would peak. It came close to making top 40. It peaked at number 41. It jumped 10 from 76 the week before on Billboard Top 100 for 11 weeks. Red Light by Linda Clifford. Just classic dance music by Linda Clifford. Not Maybe not as disco as some of her earlier records because disco, well, disco pretty much imploded by the spring of 1980. But, um, in 1980. Uh, Linda Clifford, uh, former Miss New York. I believe the, I can't read my chicken scratch. This is what my writing looks like. I scribble. I don't write. I scribble. <laughs> I'm like a caveman painting on the wall. Former Miss America. Uh, I'm sorry. For, she was former Miss New York State. Uh, she was also an actress. She was in the movie The Boston Strangler, which uh, starred Tony Curtis and Henry Fonda. Also in Cogan's uh, Bluff, which starred Clint Eastwood. And uh, she went off and uh, did some singing. She sang in the Miami area. She fronted a jazz trio, but moved over to R&B. She signed with the Paramount, signed with the Paramount record label in 1973. She had a minor R&B hit, but the break started come to come for her when she signed with Curtis Mayfield's Curtum record label. This was in 1974-75. Her first album came out in 1977. She came out with a disco version of uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water in 1979. I mean, when it came to disco, that no song. Uh, all songs were just, uh, I mean, I'm trying to think of the word. All sorts of songs were covered in the disco era. Of course, Diana, D Donna Summer did MacArthur Park. And you might remember, if you know your disco, Beach Boys covered Here Comes the Night, which was an album cut from one of their uh, albums. It might have been Pet Sounds, but I'm not sure, back in 1967. And they did a disco, fantastic disco version in 79. But uh, let's go back to Linda Clifford. Uh, she she uh, contributed the song Red Light to the Fame soundtrack in 1980. Didn't make top 44, as I've already mentioned. But man, you're going to. I did a little research on this record. She sounds fantastic. She was a beautiful woman. Beautiful voice. My goodness. Might want to dance with her at Studio 54 back in the day if I learned how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> and not have two left feet. Dean Pitchford co-wrote the song Red Light. He co-wrote this record. Dean Pitchford uh, co-wrote uh, You Should Hear How She Talks About You, which was done by Melissa Manchester, big hit for her. And with uh, Kenny Loggins and Steve Perry, he wrote Don't Find It, which was a moderate hit for Kenny Loggins in 1982. Dean Pitchford wrote the screenplay to Footloose. One of the songs that he co-wrote off the album, Almost Paradise, by Ann Wilson and Mike Reno, a lover boy. Gosh, I tell you, if you read about 80s music, you're going to run into Dean Pitchfork's name one way or the other, I suppose. But he co-wrote this record by Linda Clifford, delightful dance record by her. Went to This red light went to number one on the dance charts. Number 66, Billboard's Hot 100, August 23rd, 1980, is Red Light by Linda Clifford.